I wanted to share my new skin routine since it's different, but this one is my morning one. My evening one is slightly different because I put different products on. So for my morning, after I wash my face, I don't dry it with a towel. I'll use a fan just so I don't, I don't really know why. I think, I don't actually know why I do that. I just do it and it makes my skin feel really good and clear and beautiful. So actually what I just put on um, is the Corsex uh, Advanced Snail Radiance Dual Essence. And I'm gonna put that right there. Um, it should be in my description below. This is, <laughs> this is snail extract along with, um, now I don't remember what else is in it. Special blend of snail essence <laughs> and radiance in essence in one bottle. I don't know what radiance essence is. I'm pretty sure it's like niacinamide. Um, formulated with triple snail complex and niacinamide. Um, it will enhance the plumpness and boost your skin's radiance. Um, so that's how I start my skincare routine, um, every morning after I wash my face and I rub it in, um, until it is no longer to be rubbed in. Like I literally, oh, and this is really important. Since starting Trent, Trentinoin, my skin, especially around my eyes has become very sensitive. So I don't rub there anymore. I dab the products in, even with the, the Trent, I, I dab it in. Um, and not only do I do the main part of my face, but it's also really important not to forget your neck. Very important. After my niacinamide, <laughs> my snail essence and niacinamide. Um, I will go in, <laughs> I use this day and night. You don't have to use it. I like a heavy cream. It's probably overkill, honestly, but um, especially after having started the Trent, um, I've noticed that I just wanna make sure that my skin is as moisturized as possible, uh, simply because it can, um, it makes the skin very sensitive and dries it out a lot. So again, just dab it on the sensitive areas. And I like to rub it in and make sure it's completely rubbed in because I wanna make sure that I have no opportunity for any of these products to pill. So as you can see, my skin is shiny and glowy, which is great. Um, but when it comes to uh, wanting that matte skin or you know not sweating your makeup off, I don't really wear makeup, I wear BB cream. But um, my base is this, it's the Carpe Sweat Absorbing Face Lotion. Now I did get, oops, I did get the primer that they had. Not only did it smell like gasoline, I mean, absolutely horrific, um, but it also pilled everything no matter what I did and it didn't do anything, it didn't help. But the sweat absorbing face lotion does. Now, I put it everywhere, including my eyelids. And I kind of use it, I don't kind of, I use it as my primer. And it doesn't smell like gasoline. I mean, it doesn't smell nice, but it doesn't smell like gasoline. And you can see already my forehead versus the rest of my face, how different it is, how it really does mattify the skin which looks amazing no matter what, because now you're not focusing on all the, listen, dewy skin is beautiful, youthful, all the things you want it to be. And I like dewy skin too. But when I'm going out, or if I have to wear my BB cream, which is 
when I'm going outside into the sun <laughs> because it has SPF and you need to protect your skin. I will put this on and I will always put it on if I'm doing photos or anything like that. The last thing that I'm putting on my full face, um, and you notice I didn't put the carpe on my neck. I don't need it there. I just need it on my face because um, that's where I don't want it to get shiny. So then I use the Maybelline BB Cream, Dream BB Cream. Um, I love it. It's SPF 30. They have higher SPFs, um, but this one seems to do it for me. And again, um, I have used a beauty blender with it. It works great, um, but I also will just apply it like so. Um, and what I put on my face, I'll start here. And like, I really wanna also make sure I get my eyelids cause you know, I want them to be protected as well. And of course the under eyes, the whole face. Now without the Carpe mattifying face lotion um, or sweat absorbing face lotion, uh, this BB cream leaves a beautiful dew. You can already see that it's dewy. It leaves a dewiness to the skin. It looks very natural, which is why I like it and why I prefer it. Um, and honestly why I stopped using um, foundation altogether because it just looks so natural on the skin. You don't see it. And it evens out the skin tone. Like even this ugly, I had an ingrown hair and I still haven't gotten it. So we're struggling. But anyway, um, you can see how much more even my skin tone is just using the BB cream, which is just a tinted SPF, honestly. That's all you need. Um, foundation just wears too heavy on my skin and I just like to have a natural looking glow. Um, and the BB cream, at least this Maybelline BB cream does that. Now I tried, um, the trend that I get is from this company called Agency. I tried their lotion, uh, it pilled. I tried the sc silk screen um, BB cream that they had, um, which is an SPF of 50, which is great, pilled. I hated it. Um, Hate is a strong word. I disliked it greatly. Um, but this BB cream from Maybelline is, has never pilled on me, has always looked amazing, and has protected my skin. And every time I use it, I don't get sunburn. Um, after that, I discovered this e.l.f. Uh, Microchromatic Multi-Stick, and it is a multi-stick. I use it, sorry, I'm just like making sure. I use it for everything um, in terms of where I want color. So I like to have my blush up here. I think it brings the eye up and it makes the cheekbones look higher, Ooh, which is good. You want high cheekbones right here, just for a little glow up here. And then I will also use it like that, um, just to add a little color. And I just blend it in. Maybe go into here a little bit. But you see, it's got this pretty sparkle in it. I don't know if you can tell. But you see how it just adds just a little bit. You don't need a lot. You know what I mean? And when you have products that don't pill, <laughs> it makes layering a lot easier. And um, you can enjoy your products a lot more. So this is the e.l.f. The e.l.f monochromatic multi-stick it's fantastic the color is glimmering guava which is fitting because i love hawaii and guava is very popular in hawaii and that that's my makeup oh i do my eyebrows too so what i do with my eyebrows and here's what's interesting that i noticed i don't know if it's the trend because i started the trend i also don't know if it's the suki i also don't know if it's my um collagen because I also started increasing the glycine that I use to 
uh, absorb the collagen better. So it might be that as well. Could be a combination. But what I noticed is my hairs here have definitely gotten thicker and fuller, which I'm very excited about because for a long time I had to draw in that tail. And I'm so happy I don't have to do that anymore. Oh, and this is the e.l.f. Wow Brow um, in neutral brown. I get it in neutral brown because it's like more of a taupey color um, mm -hmm. instead of a warm color, which adds to that shadow look. Um, the taupe of the color will definitely make it look more real, more full, because it looks like it's shadow as opposed to a warm color just put on top of your brows. That's been my experience anyway, as a dark haired woman. I just fluff it out. I'm like going really fast because I still have to walk the puppy and make my collagen and then leave because I have a morning shoot today. Um, and you know, I like to give myself as little time as possible, it seems. So that, okay, that, that is my morning skincare routine. Um, I haven't decided if I'll do my evening skincare routine or if I'll do that tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah, so this is essentially the morning skincare routine. This is what it looks like. I gotta take the hair down so you get the full effect of whatever the heck I'm doing. What is she doing? Whatever she wants, it seems. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay, I need to get going, but um, uh, yeah, all right, let's, let's go. <laughs> Good morning, so this is the fit today. Um, we're going with the puffy sleeves, the nude top. Um, again, let me know if you think it's all right. Everyone seems to think it's okay, but it just feels, I don't know. But anyway, so I'm making my matcha now. I'm running, I'm running as fast as I can. <laughs> trying to get everything done and ready before I have to leave, which is in like 10 minutes. So hubby's gonna take the puppy out. I got laundry going. I uploaded the Sweet Start uh, reel from the wedding before. Um, I took a shower. I did my makeup routine and face uh, skincare routine. And uh, yeah, so just gotta go, go, go. I'm sweating, oh my God. Okay, uh, let's get back to my matcha. Mm. Oh, it's so good. I have to transfer this though. Uh, as much as I love my little pumpkin mug, um, I'm gonna put it in something else because I need to go. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the skincare and what I do every morning to my face routine. Um, and I will show you what I do in the evening. It's very similar, obviously, without the BB cream and um, other stuff, but uh, and stuff the trend included. I don't put that on during the day because your skin gets very sensitive to the sun and you don't want to damage it. I'm talking really fast because I gotta go. But anyway, I will check in with you later. <laughs> I'm gonna do this over the sink, so. All right, now let's go. Suki so what? Heading off to work. We got a morning shoot, so I'm off. So let's go. <laughs> Chili, but. 
this horrible habit of being terrified to ask for help <laughs> or ask for anything, but there are just some cases when you don't really have a choice and you have to. And uh, so I asked for help and I got it and it was easy and nobody looked at me like I was dumb, which is great. And for some reason, my worst fear, because I'm not dumb, I'm really fucking smart, but when you just don't know something, you just don't know something, so you have to ask. So it's a learning curve, but anyway, we're heading to the shoot and uh, check in later. ravens they've come back they've returned oh hold on look at these mushrooms <gasps> anyway beautiful right Suki and I are in the woods shocking I know she insisted so here we are even though <laughs> I broke out my fur and I'm freezing it's not actually cold out here, but it was so cold while I was editing that I was shivering and I just could not get warm. So then I turned the fireplace on and then Suki s <whistles> and then Suki said we needed to take a walk. So I put the fur on so I could keep a little bit warm. Anyway, I have a story time. Okay, the story time will come tomorrow because today I just have so much with the skincare and what I do for my face and all that stuff. So plenty, it's too much. I don't want it to be too long of a video and bore you. Although the story time is very juicy. So you wanna st stay tuned for that. Although we are going pumpkin, pick pumpkin, we're going apple picking tomorrow. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> but it's juicy. And um, for all my newbies, thank you so much for following. Really, it is. I'm so happy that you're here. I'm so excited. Things are progressing and it's, it's just very exciting. There's a lot of amazing, beautiful, exciting things happening. I'm trying new things. Um, not just obviously for the vlogs, but al also for like how to push the vlogs out and you know a little bit of their formatting and seeing how that works and yeah we'll go from there but anyway I need to end today's episode because um, I'm tired and uh, yeah I will <sighs>
I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry, brain fart. I'm just so tired. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, thank you so much for spending time with me today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, tomorrow. I will see you tomorrow. Until next time. Thank you.